This video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. Link in the description. The new GTA 5 is bad. You don't say. That's right, take my word for it, because I've pre-ordered this mess. So I thought today would be a good idea to give you all a review, a comprehensive review of GTA 5. Expanded and Enhanced, even though it's not called Expanded and Enhanced anymore, it's just called GTA 5 for next gen. Let's go! Here we are in the brand new landing page. I actually think this is a good thing actually, because the last time you could only choose story mode online or like a free times money and RP event. Now you have all these things that you can just, you know, do, and I think that's a pretty good addition. That's a long overdue thing. And I think that's a very good addition. It's the only good addition. Let's just draw in free mode real quick. Um, it's gonna take a while. What can we use this time for? I know, let's talk about our sponsors, Epidemic Sound! Epidemic Sound. This is where, this is the website where I get all my music and sound effects for my videos. And it's a very good service. And it only costs £10 a month, which when you think about it, the amount of music and sound effects you get in their extensive library, it's actually quite a steal. If you use my link down in the description or the comments below, you'll get your first month free. So do it. Oh, very conveniently after that sponsor, we're loaded into story mode and you'll see that we're on 60 FPS. I just got run over in 60 FPS! The best thing that I can see on the new GTA is that it's in 60 FPS. This is the performance RT mode, and let me tell you, this does... I don't give a sh- Let me tell you, the performance RT, the game looks kind of better than the PS4 version, obviously. Oh my! This is a- this is really good, and I would say it's one of the best modes. If you have like a TV that you can't really see at uh, 60 FPS, or you don't care about the frames, Fidelity is the mode for you. Um, and it does look really good. Fidelity does look really good. But for, for, for performance RT, I would say this is the best mode for someone who wants 60 FPS and that little bit of a graphical upgrade. But then we get the bad things, the cons. The motion blur in this game is horrific! Let me tell you, I get motion sickness a lot and that makes me not want to play VR. I have VR and it's an absolute nightmare. Um, it's even worse when you play Walking Dead, it's disgustingly horrifying. But Rockstar should know that people, one in 20 people actually like motion blur. The 19 other people in that survey did not like it. And there is not an option to turn off motion blur, which I honestly don't get. And apart from that, apart from the landing page, the 60 FPS, the different modes, and the motion blur, <laughs> there is nothing that's that different in the game. If you've noticed already with the amount of money I've got, I've started a new account. Some people haven't. And I didn't really want to transfer my character because I didn't want to play on a, let's just say, worse version of the game. I've tested this and um, the loading times are worse than when you play GTA on your PS5 but on the PS4 version. Which I don't get. It should be taking advantage of the hardware it's on rather than just a bare bones remaster or just a port, a basic port with just the most minimal amount of changes to make it a new version, which it isn't. You know, when we transferred to PS3 to PS4, you got first person mode, they had to remake basically the whole game, the guns, the recoil, that kind of stuff, to make it more realistic. This, this upgrade is the worst upgrade I've ever seen in GTA history and Rockstar history. We're not talking about you. That and everyone in my lobby is on a PS5 all your mics are going to be on unless you mute the mic. I've muted the mic. Some people haven't. And throughout this whole video, people are talking in Italian, French. It's typical European region languages. 
But to be honest, if you are interested in playing GTA for, let's just say, the first time, this is the definitive version of the game. If you don't own a high-end PC or no PC at all, this is the definitive version. But the PS4 version is still good, you know? This version doesn't blow PS4 out of the water like, oh, that version is stupid now, it's the worst version ever, and PS5 takes the crown. No, both versions have their own merits to them both. And because um, Rockstar, and because Rockstar deletes your your character of the old gen version if you transfer, that's gonna make a lot of people more hesitant to cross over and stop playing with their friends in sacrifice of this new version. What the fuck? I think the main reason why Rockstar did that, it's not because of the servers, but because I feel like Rockstar wants people to try up a career builder more than anything because it's the only new edition. So obviously they would want to brag about it and make people, you know, do it. That, and on the PS4 version and the Xbox One version, most adversary modes and parachuting stuff have uh, got deleted. And I believe it's because the servers um, were overloading or something. Um, on the screen right now will be a correction if I'm wrong. But on the PS5 version, those adversary modes are still deleted. Where's this future job? That's right, where are the parachuting missions? They're not there, and I have no idea why they did that. There are some quality of life improvements apart from the landing page, such as when you press find new session, you can choose from here if you want to go into an invite only session, solo session, public session, crew session, close crew session, close friend session, <laughs> And that's it. Should I recommend this game for all of you? If you have the PS4 version, stick to it, okay? That extra discount incentive to buy the next-gen game, you shouldn't take advantage of. I wholeheartedly, rec I wholeheartedly recommend the PS4 version still, the PS5 version for absolute new players who have never played a GTA game in their life. But for people who already have an existing version of the game, whether that's last gen, last last gen, whether it's last gen or not, I would not recommend this game at all. Just because there's a new career builder and a new landing page and like three different graphics options is not worth the £10 that I spent, let alone £40 when the discounts are over. I wasted £10 because I had belief in Rockstar that they just made one bad game, the, de the the trilogy definitive edition, and I thought, hey, they're gonna earn back our respect by showing off the full capacity of what we're capable of. And we got this mess! The simulation's crumbling, this isn't meant to happen! I do not recommend this game, nor I recommend any other GTA 5 game until GTA 6 comes out. That's gonna be in another five years. I am going to have a job now. I'm not gonna have any time for GTA games. Thanks, Rockstar, you've lost a fan. I want to thank again Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video. Sign up with the link in the description and the comment section for your first month absolutely free for a wide selection of music and sound effects that you can use in your own videos to make your videos unique. What am I supposed to do now? Like. Did I mention there are new explosions and fire effects? Let me show you. Yay!